Guys, welcome back to Between the Ropes TV. Tonight, we're going to be looking at this weekend's super fight between the Tartan Tornado, Josh Taylor, and Jack Catterall for the undisputed light welterweight world championship. Now, before we get into it, this video and uh, quite a lot of our activity this week is sponsored by Orange County CBD. Now, they help us out. They also were uh, sponsored Josh Taylor himself, but there'll be no bias on the video. But I'll drop their socials in the description, so do go ahead and check them out, guys. Now, let's not mess about. Let's get into it. I'm excited about this fight. Uh, obviously, Jack Catterall's coming into this as Josh Taylor's mandatory opponent for the WBO title. Obviously, for Jack Catterall, great. He gets a crack at them all uh, as Taylor's the undisputed champion. But, you know, let's look at Jack Catterall. You know, he's undefeated coming into this, 26-0 with 13 stoppage wins. But... He's not boxed since November 2020, uh, and that was obviously on the Dubois and Joe Joyce undercard. Uh, and that fight was, you know, it was more keep busy, get the rounds in. Obviously, he took some step aside to let the undisputed title fight happen. And, you know, you just look at who Jack Catterall's been in with, and, you know, I'm not knocking him because he's, he's a very good boxer. I, Although he's got 13 stoppages, for me, you look at the calibre of opponent he's been in with, is he a puncher? We don't really, you know, for me, possibly not. His best wins are against the likes of Tyrone Nurse, Ahara Davis, Tyrone McKenna. And these are very good British operators. Have they gone on to more? Mm, it, you know, it's one of those for me. He's done well. And it, it's a typical sort of Frank Warren, WBO mandatory situation. You know, it's a bit of a running joke online that that's what he does with his fighters. And, you know, it's not that Jack Cattle's a joke, far from it. He's a good boxer. But for me, you have to look at the step up. And is he ready to go up really two or three levels to Josh Taylor? Because Josh Taylor, 18 and 0, 13 stoppage wins. He's the undisputed champion in 18 fights. You know, he's been in with us of Jose Ramirez, obviously, for the undisputed title fight last May. Regis Prograis, Victor Postol. Even Baranchuk, you know, and the list goes on. His record is very, very impressive. You know, so far, so his last six opponents have a combined record of 136 and one defeat. Who's doing that? You know, you, you look around and all these top guys, you can always look at their resume and think, mm, OK, like there's a questionable fight in there somewhere. Josh Taylor hasn't done that. He's done this back to back. He wins the title, unifies, you know, I know he had the one defence, um, during the COVID times. But generally, he's been in with the top operators, obviously very heavily associated with the likes of uh, Shane McGuigan, Barry McGuigan. Obviously, he's come away from that now. He's with Ben Davidson. And Ben Davidson, you know, with his sorts, his style of game plans, you know, I expect Josh Taylor, to be honest, to dispatch of Jack Catterall. I, don't, I think the middle rounds, I really do. I think, this is such a jump for Jack Catterall. And my big worries for Josh Taylor, I know the relationship seems a little bit fiery, but you never know how much of that is put on. And I also think that's the worry. Is Josh Taylor up for this fight? Because, you know, he's been in some huge fights. And really, you know, I think as fans, we want him in the super fights now. He's been managed badly, promoted badly previously. We've spoken about this before. Uh, and, you know, not everybody agrees. And it's not the fact that he's not a draw because he consistently sells tickets within Scotland. But, you know, his last fight, which was for the undisputed title, didn't get picked up by a British network. That's pathetic, you know. And every network around there, sort of shame on you, to be honest, because, you know, it, it's a huge fight, obviously, for any level of undisputed title. But, you know, especially with it being a UK guy, he deserves better. And I just hope now that with Sky and Top Rank's deal, that he starts and gets that spotlight. You know, he's done a bit more media uh, and there's been more promotion for this fight. But with the right platform, Josh Taylor, you know, he goes to the absolute stars. I really believe that. You know, there's a lot of talk about what would be next for him. And that's the danger with this fight. Easy looking past it. But, you know, I think he gives Terence Crawford problems. And, Anyone who argues with that, I think, to be honest, I have to have a serious think about what they're actually trying to sell because his boxing range, the talent that he's got, he can punch, he can take a punch. He's got it all. And that's the exciting bit about Josh Taylor. So, guys, we'll wrap it up there. 
But let us know in the comments what you think. What is your prediction? What do we want to see from Taylor next? Touch wood, he comes through this one. And as always, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button.